Okay, so this is a revamp two weeks into the ownership of the 2015 USA Mark 7 Golf R. Um, everything's doing great. Um, we did just uh, well, apply some Meguiar's Gold Class um, as well as Meguiar's uh, Carnuba Spray Wax. I'm a big McGuire's guy, I'm old school. So, um, McGuire's Tire Shine, uh, you name it, I'm a McGuire's guy. Um, she shines up pretty, I'll tell you what. Uh, even after two weeks driving in the snow, snow tires on, snow tires off, summer tires, wheels on, uh, everything. Um, you know, we've got our dual quad exhaust. Uh, it shines up just nice. Um, you know, everything about her. Like I said, it's my third child, so. You know, our big scooped air dams on the front. Everything down the side. I really hope you can see her, you know, her blue lapis. Lapis, blue metallic whatever you want to call it but she is just butter smooth um, and she is nice and shiny it's my daily so I plan to do this a lot so I'm gonna do the best I can with her um, I hope you can see a lot of the color contrast on this not 100% sure you can see the color contrast on it but uh, hopefully you can um, Big Golf R brakes, 13 and a half inch. Um, 40 years of golf. Put that down here instead of on the back window, just because I thought it would look better. Um, because of the tinted windows, you can't really see it. Um, so I got a little mad the other day. I was driving home from work, and uh, I saw this thing the size of a. Uh, Tennis ball canister, Pringles canister, but had some waves in it. And she bounced off the front of my bumper. And, uh, you know, this is what she did. She took a chunk straight out of my bumper. So, uh, really hurt. Really hurt. I don't even have the number for this limited production, but uh, I am so sad because of that um, you know this is my third child so I uh, you know damn that hurts um, you know she's perfect otherwise you know got a little wear and tear we got 500 miles um, you know this is my daily you know as much as she cost, you know, I'm, I can't just, uh, I can't just park it in the garage, you know, I got two kids and a wife to support, so, um, you know, I'm gonna do the best I can with her, and I'll keep everybody in the loop through the way, um, you know, U.S. version, you know, I will say a little bit, though, um, as far as the LEDs, I never brought up in the last video, so, you got your turn signals there, um, forgot to mention that in the old video, um, but, you know, she's good, you know, what do I do, uh, it's my third child, so, um, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, jump into the front seat here, uh, this paint is just freaking awesome, um, gonna jump in there's a couple things I never showed anybody on the previous version uh, yeah this tachometer does light up blue uh, everything does do everything uh, that you've seen before um, piano black inlays everything 
um, are just uh, awesome. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to release the parking brake here. And I will go ahead and slide her into drive. We're going to move back into the garage here. Parking sensors doing their job guiding me in. So here we go. A little bit closer. Let's get that fifth mark. There we go. We throw it in the park. We come off. And uh, everything is just absolutely perfect. Um, down here, we've got the items we've talked about, MDIs, all that, for motion. Uh, this is one of my favorite parts about this car, is that sensor bar across the bottom of it. So you can see the bottom of the radio, I approach, and she turns red, and she gives me all her options. Pull away, and we go out. Um, 543 miles in, uh, man, I love her, she's great in every way, um, I plan to keep her perfect, um, I do have all my, uh, modes and everything selected in there, so I forgot to mention comfort, normal, and race, but we also have, uh, the individual mode, um, which is completely customizable, um, I left it all at normal. Um, I think if I do go into uh, this aperture mode, I will go to sport on the lighting. Uh, steering, I like where it is. The DCC, I like where it is. And the engine, I like where it is. So um, we're going to call that good. Um, we will uh, notice that the mode button stays to yellow when you change something outside of its standard perimeters. Um, so if I were to go to mode and I were to choose normal, the yellow goes out. And she's in normal mode. So, um, I'll go ahead and shut her down here. Hopefully it says what I think it's going to say. Please do not forget your cell phone kind of cute but we open the door and I hope I haven't forgot it by now so the next part I want to bring up in this is I don't necessarily want to be the first one to do this but school buses hey kids I will say um do I want to be the first one and to put the APR tune on it? Do I want to be the first one to put the intake on it? Maybe the Miltec exhaust? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I have yet to even get the wife in the car because of our two kids. I don't, uh, we don't exactly have time I work and she raises two children um, do I want to spend the money to put an APR stage one tune do I want to wait for the unitronic you know I'm not sure um, do I want to go from 298 horsepower and 300 foot pounds of torque to 365 horsepower? Yeah. Yeah. I tried launch control for the first time this morning and, um, ugh, oh, that's so fun. Um, but, I don't know. I don't want to crush in this car. This paint, 
everything's just so butter. She's so smooth everywhere. <clears throat> Look at this. Look at the underside of that mirror. Perfect. These side skirts. I don't miss a spot. And you want to look at these wheels. Look at these wheels. Nothing. I love my Volkswagens. I have since 1991. Love them. This just super pisses me off. I love my car, but um, I can't heal the wound. Something that somebody else does. But she's so smooth. She's perfect. She's going to take care of me and the wife and kids. So. Um. She's got tint now. I'm sure you figured that out from the previous video. Limo tint. Cash deal. No invoice. It's warming up out here in Colorado, so yeah, we do have the pole materials starting to come out here. Um, I've got my three-year-old's Volkswagen Beetle. Electric car with FM radio, AM radio, and iPod input. And we're going to pretend, but those are 18s, maybe 19s, depending on the car, but there's a real 19 in the background there, so you tell me which one's real. So, um, just a little update, nothing major. Thanks for your time. Uh, please like, any questions, anything, just ask, please. Um... Thanks for watching. I think this time we're going to fade out to the rear. And I think we're going to fade out to the R in the rear.